Hello and welcome to a new video about simple electric circuits. Today we're going to talk about a theorem. Talking about a theorem of de Venin, a Frenchman, uh, Leon Charles de Venin was his name, and he postulated, or even it was proved, uh, that every circuit which has only linear elements inside, so resistors, uh, voltage sources, current sources and stuff, yeah, linear things, uh, can be replaced by just one real voltage source. So a voltage source, source with an internal resistance, series resistance. So that, that this is the situation. So let's say we have a certain network, uh, this is how the real network is looking, and according to clamps A and B, connectors A and B, we can find values for US and RI which do behave exactly like this would behave, or this is behaving. So we can replace all the stuff inside by just one real voltage source. This is actually true. <laughs> How is this working? We have to, to, to get somehow to the values of Ri and Us. So the replacement voltage source values, the, 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 source, um, the source voltage and the internal resistance. Step one. It's, it's, like, it's like a recipe. Step one. Calculate Ri by setting all sources to zero. So, we set this source to zero. What is a voltage source with zero volts? Just a connection. Hmm? This is the voltage source, and now zzz, it's the voltage. It's a voltage source with zero volts. Hmm? So we have here R one, one hundred ohms. We have here R two, two hundred ohms. We have here R three. 300 ohms, and we have here the connections A, and B. And we want to calculate a replacement resistance of those two. I think we all agree that those two resistance, they are a parallel circuit. So we do have actually the case that we have here one resistor, here another resistor, A and B. Here we have 300 ohms, and here we have those two in parallel, we have 1 divided by 1 divided by 100, Ohm plus 1 divided by 200 ohm. What would that be? Grab the calculator. 1 divided, 1 divided, 100 plus 1 divided by 200. 666.6 .6 periodic ohms. That's this. Now, we see those two are parallel are serious, you see those are parallel, <laughs> serious connection. So actually what we have, we have here A and we have here 1 and this is 300 ohms plus 666.6 uh, .6 periodic ohms are 366.6 .6 periodic ohms. And this is already Ri. This is the value of this. 
Ja. First time, first step. Second step. Calculate the no load voltage, uh, the open circuit voltage. This is then US. Uh, because here the open circuit voltage US is US, uh, so it must be here as well. All right, how to do this? Open circuit voltage, let's draw it. Here we 100 ohms. We have here 200 ohms. We have here 300 ohms and we have here open circuit voltage. Here is zero amps. This means here we have zero volts. This means this does not, this does not count. Right? If there is no current running, this doesn't count. So actually, here we have our 30, 30 volts. Right? Actually, what we have, we have we have a series connection of those two. So we have here looking actually like that. Here is the series resistance. Here we have 30 volts still. And here we have 100 ohms plus 200 ohms equals 300 ohms. If between here and here is 30 volts, we have between here and here 30 volts as well. So here we have 30 volts. So actually, this current, Ix, I call it, equals 30 volts divided by 300 ohms. And this equals 100, 0 0.1 amps, 100 milliamps. Where is here Ix? Ix is here. But here as well. Because nothing is going out, so Ix must pass here, down here. Yeah? And if we have a look at here. I will call this U2. U2 equals Ix multiplied by R2 and have a look at this mesh here, at this loop. U2 minus US minus zero volt. U2 is US. Yeah. This equals already US, the source voltage. So we just have to use this. US equals R2, 200 ohms, multiplied by 0 0.1 amps is 20 volts. If we take a voltage source which has a, volt, a source voltage of 20 volts 
and an internal resistance of 366.6 periodic ohms, it behaves exactly like this circuit. Exactly like this. This is how you can calculate with the Venner theory exact or, or a network, complicated network, and replace it with a more simpler one. Right? That's one possibility. Replace a voltage source with a voltage source, a simpler voltage source. And I said, it doesn't really matter which type of sources and so on you have in there. So actually, we should, according to Devana, we should be able to replace this also with a voltage source. But here we have a current source, we have a current source inside there. So we have to replace this with a voltage source and this is working. So yes, it is working. By following exactly those two steps. Okay. Remember the first steps, calculate RI by setting all sources to zero. I will note this again. First step, calculate RI by setting all sources to zero. Now what is a current source with a source current of zero amps? So that there is for sure zero. I'll show you how it looks like. Like that. It's not there. There's a hole. In this branch there's for sure zero amps. And then we have here R1, which is 100 ohms. We have here R2, which is 200 ohms. We have here R3, which is 300 ohms. And we have here the two connectors A and B. And now, we need to replace this thing with one single resistor and here zero amps. This does not count. A resistor where there is no current rushing through is I can leave out simply. It's not worth it. Yeah? So actually those do us in series. Yeah? So act th those things since the, the current cannot run here, it has to pass here and has to pass here. So it's acting like it would be a series connection. Those two, uh, those two are in series. So actually what we have, we have here A, we have here B. And in between we have one resistor just. And this is 300 ohms plus 200 ohms. And this is 500 ohms. This is another value like than here, but it's okay, it's, an, it's a different different circuit. Yeah? And this is Ri. So we already fixed one, hour, one of our things, this is Ri. And second, and this is exactly the same step, second here, calculate the open circuit voltage. Good. We're going to calculate this. Second. Calculate the open circuit voltage. So let's have a look how the open circuit looks like. Here we have 100 ohm. Here we have 200 ohms. Here we have 300 ohms. Here we have the connector A, here we have the connector B. Open circuit means here we have zero amps, there is for sure no voltage, right? So here we have, here we have I0 of 100 milliamps. Here we have I0. Here we have zero amps. How much do we have here? 
we have also I0. Hui, this looks easy now, because actually what is still there, yeah, here, this is our US, here, this is our U2, and here, we still have zero volts. And it's the same, U2 and US is the same. U2 minus US minus zero volt is zero volt, U2 minus US is zero volt, U2 is equals US. Yeah? So US equals U2, and this equals I0, multiplied by R2, and this equals 100 milliamps is 0 0.1 amps, multiplied by R2, this is 200, 200 ohms, and this equals 20 volts, and this is US. If we replace this with that, we have to select an US of 20 volts and an I of uh, uh, an RI of 500 ohms. Then those two are behaving exactly the same if we load them. Huh? That's how it looks like. Okay, so that's actually. The Devenant theorem. Here we have it. We can replace all possible linear networks with just one voltage source. Sometimes it's really easy to do that. For instance, we will get to know the Wheatstone's, Wheatstone's bridge. Uh, we can replace a Wheatstone bridge by a voltage source. Cool, huh? For me, at least. Devenant theorem. We replace something with a voltage source. There's also a way how to replace something with a current source. This is the Norton's theory. Norton's theorem replace something with a current source. Next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.